Flying over the water sometimes can be very tricky. If you are a new drone pilot, you will need to apply these few steps before you send your drone over the water to avoid any potential crashes and any other trouble. Flying over water can be a scary one for most drone pilots. The new pilots usually think that the most safest place is the flying over the water. But water environment are often filled with potential hazards such as boats, waves, trees from the sides, high winds and even birds. Before you fly over the water, I will suggest you to fly at safe place, like open fields, learn as much as you can about flying there and then when you think that you are ready, you can fly over the water. But with these steps. First one is to plane your shot. This is the key because the wind can be very tricky over the water. The Mini 2 has great wind resistance but still you need to be very careful. You need to see in which direction wind goes. If the wind goes in the direction where you want to fly, don't do because you may struggle with returning back. Wind will push you back over the water and your drone can potentially land into water. Also don't try to fly far away on your first flights and if something like this happen to you, wind push your drone back to water and you can't return to home, my suggestion is to fly diagonally and on first landing spot to land your drone. Next step is to make sure that your return to home is set. It's very important to have a return to home. When you take off wait 5 to 10 seconds and you will hear that return to home is set. Mistake that a lot of new drone pilots made is that they take off and go straight to fly and return to home will set somewhere in the water and when you lost the signal and your drone go back to home, it will end into the water and of course you want to avoid that. Don't fly too low. I suggest you to not fly too low, especially if you are flying over the ocean. There can be very big waves. On the lakes and slow rivers you can fly closer to water but still then I will suggest you to be at least 2 or 3 meters above the water. Fly over the water with fully charged batteries. Make sure that you have fully charged batteries, you'll be very surprised how quickly battery can die if you are facing headwind in sport mode. Check your battery and go back at least when you have 40%. This depends where you are, if you are far away then everything below 50% can be tricky if you are facing headwind. So you really need to incorporate that first step, plane your shot. In emergency situation don't use return to home feature. So for example you have low battery or something happened. And when you go return to home your drone will first go up then forward and you will lose a lot of time to go up, also it will drain your battery for no reason. Also in these situations you need to fly at lower altitude, because wind is stronger up there so there is no reason to go there. So you need to fly your drone manually back and probably you will be safe. Many obstacles can endanger your journey over the water. Let's take a look some of the ones that you need to watch the most. Strong compass and GPS signals are essential when you are operating your drone. Make sure you avoid any obstacles objects that have the potential to interfere with your signal. This includes large objects like lighthouses and container ships or any device that use antennas, magnets or Wi-Fi. When you are flying in areas near water, be sure to avoid any trees, rocks or any other natural structures. Also believe or not, pay close attention to birds. In the end I hope that I help you to learn something new and I hope with these steps that you will be confident enough to fly over the water with your drone because you really can get some epic shots. And if you like this video please hit that like button and tell me in the comments do you like to fly over the water. And don't forget to subscribe and see ya in the next one. Thank you.